Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing the Transformers Fall of Cybertron Shockwave. And this figure is from 2012. That's a long time ago, huh? Awesome figure. This figure is going for like 30 bucks on eBay, brand new or more in the box. Or lose 30 bucks complete. Or 40, I can't remember which. But I got this from Still City Con for five dollars. The person sold it to me for five bucks, and I am loving this figure. But now we're gonna get down to some comparisons with Shockwave. The Fall of Cybertron 2012 Megatron. Thundercracker. Why not? They're Decepticons. We do got Grimlock. He's just a pain in the neck to transform into his dino mode. And we got Cliff Jumper. So we own five of these this year. But now we're going to get down to transforming it, which is very simple. I figured that out on my own. First, you split these from the legs like so. Now, this pops off real easy, so pop it off and there you got the process started flip up his feet and now you split his arms like so rotate this section around plop this down and the head auto pops up and yeah pretty cool right and he does have hands with this figure, but they never showed him off with the uh, single hand, but for a moment. But the G1, his arm was a gun, so yeah, not bad. So we're going to show off the other arm too, if we can get it to pop loose here. Come on, baby. Use my finger to get in there. And there we got the arms all done. Rotate these up. And there you got Shockwave. And I do a mean imitation of Shockwave. Greetings, humans. It is I, Shockwave, guardian of Cybertron. And I will cr crush any Autobots who get in my way. So I declare it. It's not a good impression. But I can also do the one G1... Never fear, Megatron. Cybertron will remain as you leave it. But yeah, not bad figure. But now we're going to show off his cannon arm, which is very simple. Take this here. And we're going to peg it into place. And it clicks into place. And now he's ready. Taste my cannon arm, Autobots. Ha 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 Yeah. So much fun for a 2012 toy. And now we're going to do some comparisons with some other Decepticons. And the two Autobots I own. First we transform them, like everything else. Very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Straight now. I've memorized Megatron and Thundercracker's transformation by heart. So I can transform it even without instructions. That's how good I am at these. Yep. Indeed I am. That good. <coughs> I got a little bit of a cough. Sorry about that. And now we flip out his hands. Like so many times before. Come on. Give him his cannon arm check. Oh, when his cannon just fell on the floor. 
uh, sometimes it just wants to fall loose. Now you get his hand straight down the other arm, and the cannon just fell on the floor for the third time. Darn this cannon. Sometimes it's a pain in the neck for an old toy. Yep. I don't have Shockwave, I don't have Starscream yet, or Thundercracker. I mean, Skywarp. But here we got Megatron, Leader. Very simple. So yeah, sorry if I gotta do that off camera. I'm just that good at transformations, so I'm good at memorizing transformations off camera. So yep. If I can get him to work. Being the pain of the neck. Flip out his feet. Straighten out his arms off camera. Plug in his null rays. And there you have Thundercracker next to Shockwave. And now for some Autobot comparisons. Here we got Grimlock, who he remade in his laboratory. Why not? Raise this up a little bit. These figures are pretty tall. And how many of these do I own this year? Five. I don't find a lot of these figures. And we got Cliff Jumper as well. Are these Fall of Cybertron figures worth the find? Yes, they are fun figures to transform and mess around with. And I'm so glad to finally have Shockwave in this collection. And I will probably try to pick up more of these in the future. I still want to pick up uh, Thundercracker, I mean not Thundercracker, Skywarp, and Starscream, Bumblebee, Optimus, Kickback, and of course, trying to think here, Soundwave, yeah, Soundwave and Sound Blaster. Then I'll have a whole collection of Fall of Cybertron to put on my shelf. But these are fun figures from 2012, and I'm so glad to have them in my collection. They're going to look pretty good on my shelf. Show you off what we're going to do next week. We're doing the Diamonds, the BSTAX Toys, Lord of the Rings, Sauron. Yeah the ruler of Mordor himself. And I'm so glad to add him to my Lord of the Rings collection. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.